What is going on guys? Another day here at the house. Still waiting for my garage to get built, but let me play with this light here. It's a little little bright. Woo! There we go. Okay. So I figure it's time to show you guys from the title our newest car in the channel. There it is. That is a 2008 Challenger SRT8. And as you can see, I gotta put some air on the tire though. <laughs> She's a little dirty. She's a little dirty, I know. I gotta wash it. But, got a hell of a deal on it. At least I think it's a hell of a deal. Woo! Woo! That shit fire. Anyways, so, as you know, I got the, uh, the old OG daily over there, the SRT. Um, but that's going to be going down soon. Um, and as you saw from the other video, the Miata suffered from some failures there. So that's kind of just been sitting. Uh, so this kind of happened out of nowhere. Came to my job. And I was able to buy it. It's just 2008 SRTA Challenger. It's got, well when I bought it, it's got 60,000 miles. Now it's at 62. I hope this wind isn't picking up. That would suck if it is. But anyways, 62,000 miles right now in change. Um, as you can see, it's actually wrapped. The entire car is wrapped in flat black. Cyan flat black, I believe. Well, cyan black. I think it's flat black. But yeah, so it's got that. It's got... 20 inch uh, Nietzsche, Nietzsche wheels front and back I had to put new tires in the backs because they were worn out it had a lot of camber wear um, but right now you're seeing it after I just raced the car which you're gonna see on the next video um, but before that whole front end was literally dumped and it was just I was scraped leaving my driveway and my driveway is not that steep to be scraping so you'll see that ordeal in the next video. But yeah, nice Nietzsche wheels. It's got uh, Nitto's NT555s. Um, it's got these halos here. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I had to disconnect them because whoever did the wiring is not that great. And they were turning on randomly by themselves. So I just pulled the fuse for now. Um, it came with these little graphics here on the quarter glass. It's got the flag there. It's got the louvers in the back, which I need to reattach one of the corners because the tape started coming off. It's got the little skull with the coronavirus freaking face mask over here. Um, oh yeah, it's got the lip kit over there. Side skirts. It's got a front splitter. I see all tinted. Headlights are all tinted. Got the splitter again. And then the back, it's got this little uh, ducktail type deal. And then over here, it's got the diffuser fins all around. Um, and we actually, it's a little dirty right now, as you can see, but we actually just got it ceramic coated not too long ago. So cleaning the car has become extremely easy. Um, and yeah, and actually I had it done at Bond Wraps, same people who did my truck wrap recently but they even went ahead and uh, fixed this area for me while it was in the shop because this section was all bubbly so they cut it off and then you know put a new piece in there properly and then I just got to make sure like every now and then make sure it's still sticking because just you know part of the whole process of a wrap car as it gets hot it just randomly starts to peel up sometimes so just go in there push it down Let's take a look. Let's take a look inside. Well, check out the inside, guys. This is pretty cool. Love it. 62,000 miles. You can see, bam. It's got a double din unit in there. Beautiful. Seats. This is our seat seats. For some reason, I don't know if you can see it, but that's red and that's orange back there. So that's weird. But yeah, we got to fix a couple things so you can see those pillars in the back are coming loose 
Um, and I'm pretty sure that the speakers in the back are not wired up. So maybe they were and they just took something off the car, but yeah, let's hear this part. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Ready? Ready, ready, ready? Let me put you out here real quick. fix this because when I first got the car the hood shocks were not I repeat they were not holding it so we got some new hood shocks both of those look like five minutes to install um, look this is the wiring right here this is the wiring for the lights which I took off the fuse from here that way they don't turn on we don't have to worry about it got an intake time cool intake system in there which i had to fix this because it doesn't sit very well so right now it's good and then it's got a what is some sort of random oil accumulator there um but other than that from what i can see exhaust intake and then that oil accumulator other than those items pretty much the rest of this car looks stock Power wise, that is obviously because from the looks, it's definitely not stock. Um, automatic, it is automatic. Most people will be like, Why you get automatic? Well, main reason is since at the time I had to travel a little further for work, I didn't want to keep driving a manual every single day. Um, sometimes it's just easier to get in the car. Put it in drive and go, you know. So that's what I got. It was cheap. I think I paid thirteen five out the door. I want to say so that's not too bad. Thirteen five or sixty thousand miles at the time. No check engine lights, no warning lights. So that's awesome. I like it a lot, guys. This is gonna be good. You're gonna see a couple videos of it. Like I said, you're gonna see the next video, which is gonna be for the coilovers, adjusting the height, and then. We'll see, we'll see what else we do. Oh yeah, we gotta fix this dash piece right here. We'll probably take it to the track just to see what she does for the hell of it. You know, that's about it. I don't plan to really modify this car, at least not anytime soon. We got plenty of other projects to do. Um, as soon as this garage is done, it's gonna be all hands on deck with those projects and really get those done. Cause I wanna get the SRT back uh, one of the SRTs is almost done, so that's not bad. And then we got to figure out the black car. But I need the space because even adjusting the coilovers on this and the heat suck. And for those of you who know coilovers, they're not that hard to do, right? They're not that difficult to do. So it's just this heat is unbearable sometimes. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I have for today. Um, until the next one, guys, you guys know what to do. Peace.